Hey, hey, what's up, guys? It's my first daily vlog. It is the Daily Wolfman. Oh, welcome back, vlog 23. Vlog 23. What's up, everybody? Just walking down. Well, walking around in Old Town Lompoc. Getting ready for the second to the final Lompoc Mark, uh, Lomp, eh, Old Town Market. Jeez, I cannot even talk. Ah, oh, what's up, everybody? Hey, uh, again, I thank you for your comments and the thumbs up and everything. Uh, had some breakfast at uh Southside Cafe the burrito I had for a breakfast burrito this morning was better than the other one I had last time I had the turkey one now it was okay but this time I tried the ham one and that was actually better um I don't know it's just Michelle's playing Pokemon Go, see? She playing Pokemon Go. Yes, I am. But, I stopped mine because something happened twice. I was trying to catch a Rattata, and, or however you say the name, and well, I went to a white screen, and I read one of the the post that is in the app site and said that has a lot of bugs and everything well the maker of it needs to work on those bugs to remove them but <coughs> um <coughs> sorry folks for that but it's all good, but uh, I'm just walking around to get some exercise, you know, and it's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, it's a beautiful day for a neighbor, would you be mine, could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood. Neighborly day for beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I know everybody's probably saying, don't quit your day job. What day job? I don't have a day job except for going to school. Monday and Wednesday until uh, after the 19th and I'll be going back to school Monday, Wednesday and Friday. But like I said, thank you for your uh, your comments and everything. I'm going to be making some cards to pass out to people that say, hey, Shared love, give me more subscriptions, this and that, just subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up button, all that good stuff. But, it's all good, you know. But yeah, these are the little stores. Some people use them as, uh, storage but like this building right here is pretty historical I forgot what the historic uh, story is behind it but some people tell me that this place is haunted mm. I can actually show you a house that is very creepy let's go to it. it's called the 18 1890 house. This house was built in 1890. It's a 
beautiful Victorian house. That is a bed and breakfast. I bet you it's extremely expensive. But the story behind that, I totally forgot about it, but it was horrifying and everything. If you guys can't look it, because it's on one of the uh, most haunted sites in California. So just Google it and you can let me know the story behind it. But it's a beautiful Friday. Last night, my pastor had me put up all the paint back into the church because next week he reopens his school on Tuesday. Wow. School's already back in session for most kids. But hey, it's all good. You know? <laughs> You're probably wondering, why did you just wipe the side of your face? I ran into a trip wire of uh, a spider web. <laughs> but here's uh, Grace Temple. No, sorry. Yeah, Grace Temple Missionary Baptist Church. Pretty scary looking, huh? But it's a beautiful church. Very, very, very beautiful. This part really creeps me out. Is the under carriage or what's called the basement. That sucker creeps me out. But we're coming up on the 1890 house as we speak. A lot of people paint murals throughout this, well not throughout the whole entire town, but in most areas. But here's the property line of the 1890 house. And it's been said that if you video and or uh, take photos of this place some weird things will happen or you get to see some weird things so if you guys see anything on this video let me know by leaving a comment down below and here's the 1890 house old Victorian every time I come by here ah I think I know why. Looking in the bushes, if you can't see, there's a little Buddhist statue in between the in between the boot uh, the bushes. Almost said Buddhist again, but it's a beautiful home. But I don't know. Here's some more of the house. I'm trying to give you guys the best angle that I can. And that's the end. So yeah, if you guys see anything in the video, don't make anything up, okay? Be truthful. Be honest. If you see anything, or you heard anything unusual, please comment below and let me know what you guys heard or seen or both. And like I said, be truthful. Because my friend Jason, he actually took some photos and some weird things happened to him. But, I used to be a ghost hunter with Shadow Paranormal up in Salt Lake City, Utah. I was supposed to take over the company. 
but I don't know what happened but if you see this video Kelly Homebrook, Homebrook please comment below and let me know that everything is okay with you and just let you know I'm still praying for you but yeah let's take a little walk to the Veterans Memorial building that way you can see it better then go jeez sorry folks Just trying to stay in the spirit right now. Oh yeah, let me show you the Lompoc Museum where it's one of the Pokemon hot spots. It's very awesome. I've never been inside this museum, but this is the Lompoc Museum. It's only a dollar donation to get in. Or you could pay $20 a year and become a member. Which is awesome. I've been to many museums, but not this one. But yeah, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button for me, please. Comment below. Remember to subscribe to my videos. And click on that post notification so that you never miss a new video. Okay? I love you guys. Take care. Look forward to vlog 24 pretty soon. Oh yes, I might be able to do that tonight. Well, thank you for watching. This is the Daily Wolfman signing out.